visiting Hokideki, Greece this summer, but you want a more secluded, less known calm spot with of course pristine water and fabulous beaches. The island of Amugliani, it is perfect for you. And I will tell you how can you get there, where exactly it is, what are the best things to do, and of course, how much it is going to cost you. Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi, and today we are at the beautiful island of Amugliani. 7 a.m. Wake up call way too early. And a great reason to go to Amugliani, it is because it is extremely close to the mainland, like 10 or 15 minutes by ferry, very calm, the water and the beaches are incredible. Plus it is so small that you can get from one side to the island to the other for like 30 minutes. And the island itself, it is exactly here and it is 130 kilometers by car from the second biggest city in Greece, which is Thessaloniki. Most probably you will come from there, but you actually have to take the ferry for 10 or 15 minutes from the city called Tripiti. And I have a couple of fun facts for you. Well, do you know that the population of this place, it is 600 inhabitants, which might seem like very little, but what if, if I tell you that until 1925, there were only two or three monks living in there because this place was property of the church. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm visiting this island with my parents, but they don't really want to be filmed, so I respect that. You know how they say that when you're traveling, you cannot expect all the comforts? A bathroom in this island. <laughs> bit of sun and life is so great and surprise surprise one of the best things to do in this island it is going to the beach at the moment i'm literally sitting on the highest point that i could find in here at the beach called alikes and let me show you around because it is really pretty so here you have the most popular beach on this island and i would say for good reason because it is perfect for kids like even if you go 50 meters inside the sea the water will be like 1 meter 60 and you can still totally walk plus just look at it by the way at the moment it's 30 degrees in and if there wasn't a little bit of wind in here it would be totally unbearable but at the moment it's actually great Hello guys from the second beach where we came to. It is called Agios Georgios, which kind of which means Saint George. And I didn't really want to leave the first one because it really looked like paradise, but then I arrived in here. It was like this place is so much better. Bonus points for the sand. And because it was getting quite warm, to say the least, it was 30 degrees, but it felt like 35. We decided to take an umbrella, which cost like seven euros for one umbrella with two sun beds. And then every coffee or drink was around five. And this is a little bit expensive for this part of Greece, but I would say it was totally worth it. What I really like, it is actually all of this greenery. And we are sitting over there. By the way, in my last video from the Aporos Island, we rented, wait, let me show you, a boat like this one. And we were going around the, the Aporos Island and it was actually one of the best experiences ever. I don't know why, but recently I'm so much into like small islands. So, guys. Considering how freaking warm it is, uh, I mean, I'm actually quite surprised that I'm not sweating. But yeah, the plan is to stay here at least until like 4, 4.30 and after that go to a third beach just for a little bit, just for a dip and to take this shot for you. And after that, I think we'll be like heading to the ferry again because the last ones are like at 5.15, 6.15 and then 7.15 and something tells me that there might be too many people and like most importantly too many cars in the last ferry and yeah I just checked the prices to stay in here last minute and let me tell you there is literally one hotel left and the prices are quite high as well by the way 
one thing which I don't get it is why is the water always so freaking blue at any island than it is at the mainland. The only thing is when I read about this place I, I read that it's not spoiled by tourists and uh, you can find very few hotels or restaurants but I feel like that's quite an old information because I see that they're building over on the island and also there are definitely more people than what I expected. It's not even the high season because you see over there there are tables of the restaurant of this restaurant that it's not even open yet. Here we are, third beach of the day. At the moment we are at this beach called Megali Amos which means like big sand and this is actually like the furthest away spot from where you can get from the ferry. The most interesting thing it is, no matter the fact how further away it is or that there isn't like a proper road it's actually full of people. Can you believe that? I'm sitting at the rocks right here, but over there it's actually pretty crowded. Look how pretty are these rocks. I'm really, really loving this. It hurts a little with my feet. You know what? It's worth it. And a little update about the time at the moment it is like 5 20 and we're thinking to take to try to take the ferry at 6 15 which is in like one hour but the island itself it's so small that to get from one point to the other you don't need more than like 20 to 25 minutes so we'll try to get the pre-last boat because we cannot afford to take the last one because imagine if there are no spots and we have to sleep in here and as I told you at the moment there isn't a big choice of hotels. By the way, excuse my crazy hair. And do we have any real sea lovers in here? If you want, you can also take a boat and sail around the Drenia Islands which cannot be reached in any other way. You can also go on a boat tour to see Mount Atos which is an extremely particular part of Haukideki because it is a self-governed territory, there are only monasteries and it is owned by the church and no women are allowed to visit. So you can just take a boat and see it from the sea. Now let's talk money! So your accommodation price will vary depending if you go in the high season or not, but calculate at least 100 to 120 euros per night for, for a family which is quite average for Greece. But the thing is, food here it is slightly more expensive because everything needs to be shipped into the island, but for a very average meal at a Greek taverna you can expect to pay around 20 euros per person. And if you enjoyed this video and you find it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!